So the numbers are in. The numbers for the premiere of Rings of Power Season 2, which, remember, dropped three episodes last week. But the big story is, is that Rings of Power Season 2 ratings, at least according to Samba TV, they've lost half their audience from Season 1. That's a big ouch for Amazon. It's a billion dollars well spent. So here we have this from Cosmic Book News, Matt McGloin. Rings of Power Season 2 ratings, premiere bombs, 50% drop in viewership. Well, it's actually more than 50%, but I'll get into that in a second. So before we dive in, I'd like to thank each and every one of you that have taken the time to subscribe to the channel. Thank, thank you for supporting me. If you're new here, before you leave, leave a comment, drop a like. And if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. Those are the three best ways to help promote the channel. They're on YouTube, also over on Rumble too. And as always, thank you to everyone for taking the time out of your day to watch. So let's get into this, shall we? Uh, as expected, Amazon Prime Video's massively expensive Rings of Power series continues to lose power. Season 2 premiered with its first three episodes last week, showing a 50% drop in viewership compared to the Season 1 premiere. Not really a surprise if you, if you watch myself, watch some others in the YouTube space, YouTube sphere, when it comes to entertainment. Um, this is what happens when you deviate from the source material and you're more concerned about pushing a message and ideology versus staying true to the source. So th this was expected. Samba TV released the numbers for season two premiere, revealing that only 902,000 households tuned in. This figure is half of the 1.8 million households that watched the season one premiere in 2022. Now, here's the rub, folks. 902,000 U.S. households watched the first episode of Rings of Power season two on Amazon Prime Video over its first five days. That's the key. If you notice here, 1.8 million U.S. households watched the premiere of Ring Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power Season 1 during its first four days. So they had to get an extra day in of tracking to show a 50% drop in viewership. That's how you cook the books, folks. That's how you massage the numbers to not make it look as bad as it actually even worse than it actually is. So let's look at Rotten Tomatoes real quick, shall we? Season one, Rings of Power, tomato score. On the popcorn meter, which is the audience scores, 38%. Of course, the critics love it because it fits in with their ideology at 83%. So far, season two, it's faring better. It's a 59%, according to the popcorn meter, the audience score. And looky there, folks. The critics score still at 83. Hmm. Not a surprise. Now, let's go over to that park place who does a, a, a deep dive into this. And I'm going to pick up right here. Back in February 2023, following the conclusion of the show's first season, Samba TV revealed that the premiere episode of the show was watched by 1.8 million U.S. households in its first four days. After release, it eventually racked up to 3.3 million views in its first 15 days. A decline from 1.8 million to 902,000 is a whopping 49.8%. I would still argue it's more than that if you, if you want to look at four day versus four day. But we'll, we'll never know the four day numbers because they gave it an extra day. While the decline is massive, it is not really surprising given a report from Kim Masters at The Hollywood Reporter back in April 2023 revealed that 63% 63 of individuals who watched part of the show's premiere back in 2022 did not complete the show. She wrote, while Amazon, like other streamers, provides only limited data, and internally, 
It held information even more closely than usual to on the series. Sources confirmed that the Rings of Power had a 37% domestic completion rate. Customers who watched the entire series. I would contend the majority of those people who watched the entire series were probably YouTubers making content roasting the show. Just like with the Acolyte. For those outside the United States, the completion rate was higher. Master shared overseas, it reached 45%. A 50% completion rate would have been a solid but not spectacular result, according to insiders. So the show's driven away half its audience, which isn't a surprise when you tell people, you know, if you don't like our show, don't watch it. Well, people aren't watching it. So there you have it. This one's a short one. Rings of power. I can only imagine what the viewership is going to be for the rest of the season, which I, I, if I remember correctly, it's either eight or 10 episodes. I think I'd have to go back and look. You can correct me down in the chat. But if this is how the show started with viewership decline, just imagine what the end of season two is going to look like. Oh, and by the way, supposedly we're going to get a total of five seasons of Rings of Power. So that's $200 million a season spent by Amazon to have the rights to this. I got to say... That's the money well spent. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. Tell me what you think about Rings of Power. Are you even going even gonna to bother with it? I mean, I'm not. I'm just going to report on what's written and, and, you know, give you the information. You can share your share and form your own opinions. And if you want to watch the show, great. If you don't, that's fine too. Me, I'm going to watch football. So... So leave a comment down below. Please, uh, while you're at it, smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, thank you everyone for watching. And I will see you later.